This is our 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers first car across the finish line. Eric jumping out of the car real quick. Uh, we've got some smoke coming from the car. As we get clear, we'll stay safe, but uh, you look a little shook up there, buddy. <laughs> but I'm, <as> you, <laughs> I'll give you a second to catch your breath. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Eric Miller, 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers, first car across the finish line. As Dave gives him a congratulations, we'll get uh, some words here with Eric as he gets some water. I'm sure he's been working hard all day to get get to this point. Anxiously watching the course here to see what happens. Uh, how you doing, Eric? Good, Eric. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, but uh, I think people are more interested on how, how you are and how your day was. So. That car doesn't have 10 feet left in it. <laughs> <laughs> in other words, you used it all up to get here. That, that battle between Rick and I for the past 30 miles was like cheering him. Three years ago, it was, you know, switching spots, switching spots. We lost a, an engine belt, lost all steering. We pitted. He had a flat. We passed him. I, the car came across the line with no steering. I drove down resolution with no steering. I think any time you bring a car through the finish line, almost on fire, beat into the ground, you used up everything that car had to get here. And, of course, you are the first car across the finish line. We'll work on times, but uh, you're looking pretty good for winning this thing. How's that feel? Feels really good. I, we came out here to do just that. Uh, I wanted to be the first to bring it back to the east. I got such a good group of guys behind me. They worked all night on this car, fully f prepped it all night. I mean, they were up at 6 o'clock and went to pits. Uh, I couldn't have done it without them. My co-driver's out in the field. He changed the serpentine belt. I couldn't have done it without Robbie. I mean, we prepped this car at EMS Off-Road for the past month and a half. Dom and John Balducci wouldn't be here without him. So I got to thank all my friends and my family for being here to support me. And uh, I just hope we're in in time. And just what would that mean to you if uh, Dave over here, once he does announce the official winner, what, what exactly would that mean to be the 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers? Uh, it's been my dream since, this, since the OG 13. That's all I wanted to do. Well, it's looking like you just may well have achieved that, but uh, it's going to take a little time for us to sort that out. And uh, no, Dave's saying no. You want to come over here and uh, announce that, Dave? You are the man. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A congratulations from Dave Cole. Rick, Our, Rick, Rick started in front of you. There's no way you can win. All right, there it is. Official 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers, Eric Miller. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> I know you got more to say than I just do. thanks. <laughs> I do. We, we did our homework. Uh, we were out here. We've been out here for the past three years over Thanksgiving, learning Johnson Valley. I'm from Maryland, so we got nothing like this. We got trees and, and woods and rocks and washes. Nothing like the desert. So, you know, we put our time in. I, I got to thank everyone that's put up with me to just leave home and come out here with my guys for and spend weeks in the desert learning this area because we couldn't have done it without it. I mean, it is doing our homework, won this race. Well, it's been a joy to follow your career over the years, but to watch this actually happen right before our eyes up on that Jumbotron all day long and the coverage of you just battling it out, just absolutely an epic battle, has been amazing, and uh, I'm really excited for you. Congratulations. Here it is, our 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers. So here comes Easy Rick, Rick Mooneyham out of... Lake Havasu, Arizona, in the 554 Trick Toys Fabrication Car. Easy Rick, Rick, second place and hard fought, holy cow. Talk about some stories for around the campfire. Wow, battling it out with Eric Miller and Greg Adler all day long. We'll let you get this helmet off. All right, it's going to take them a minute here to get this all this safety gear off. These guys are uh, geared up for bear. They want to make sure everything's going to go good if something goes bad. So it does take them a bit to get the safety gear off. So here's Easy Rick. He's going to drop the window net. And Rick, wow, second place. And what a hard fought second place. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was definitely, we earned, <laughs> we earned second today, that's for sure. Uh, we we had all kinds of trouble, but the cars stayed together pretty much. So that was pretty, 
pretty impressive. We had, uh, we had a couple tire issues. And here comes Eric Miller coming right in to shake his hand. The second place team, the 554 car, will give Rick some room to get out there. All right, Rick, how you doing? Doing all right. Me and my boy, here we earned it. <laughs> we earned it. All right, and what went right? What went wrong? Uh, the car was really fast. Apparently, it was a little too fast, and I couldn't keep it straight. And we hit rocks a bunch too many times and wiped out, I think, six or seven tires now. So we changed four tires ourselves, and yeah, it was a, we earned it. Our team earned it. They, w <laughs> they were running tires back and forth everywhere, <laughs> keeping up with us. Fucking, it was awesome. Just absolutely amazing. It was an awesome race. And with a second place, nothing to be ashamed of, but you're so used to being in this top five, I, I know you're just what you're thinking, wow, I, you know, I really would have loved to come in that first place, but I mean, what a battle between you, Eric, and Greg Adler. Yeah, yeah it was pretty amazing. We passed Adler probably five times. Every time we changed a tire, he'd pass us, and then we'd catch him again and pass him, and we finally caught Eric. Like Eric had, a, at one point, I think a 17-minute lead on us, and I thought, there's no way we're going to catch him. And I don't know where he got hung up, but we caught him on outer, our uh, wrecking, ball wrecking ball just before the waterfall. And he got stuck, and we popped between him and a broken rig and, and got by him. And then we lost the tire, and we drove as far as we drove all the way to the next pit with no tire. And it was a hell of a, hell of a race. <laughs> well, and then we're getting the story that uh, Greg Adler and you were battling out. Greg Adler ended up on his lid, and you bumped in there and uh, helped right him a bit? Yeah, he was upside down, and he was uh, partially blocking the way. We could have drove over him, but... Figured we were, I figured we were in third, so I thought, I'm just going to hang back, let Addo take third, and I'll take fourth. <laughs> you don't want that third again, huh? It's a stigma, man. I can't break it. <laughs> well, and you just did with a second-place physical finish. Uh, you know, of course, as the announcer, I can't say fa uh, actual time, but you did good, and this looked like you've got second place wrapped up. Okay, I'll take second, especially to someone of the uh, caliber of Eric Miller. That guy is fast. He's real fast. Okay. Okay, as you see, Shannon Campbell coming across the start-finish line. Our current and reigning king of the hammer, Shannon Campbell, takes the jump, finishes the race, third spot. I'll let him work out uh, his way out of the car here as you guys are watching. Shannon comes in third spot, gets unbuckled. We'll get a couple words with him here in just a second. Probably wants a drink of water, just a chance to collect his thoughts. And uh, we'll get the word from the man himself. Uh, Our... <laughs> I got lost after the first turn this morning. <laughs> Well, you found your way to the start-finish line for a solid third-place finish. Shannon, congratulations on podium for the 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers. It looks like you're going to have to hand over that throne here eventually, but for right now, why don't you tell us about your day? Well, we started out and took off. I was feeling good, and I seen arrows, and I thought maybe they changed it. You know, we didn't go around the mountain because the arrows were very clear, and I hit the arrows and went out there and I did a couple of loops and I seen Robbie followed me and some other people and by the time I got back on the track there's so much dirt I just beat my junk up falling everybody got too many flats broke too much junk and it just a hard day I lost a brake line first thing I had to get out and but it was good I mean we finished so that's that's all that matters <laughs> Well, you know, let me ask you, because you're in a single-seat car, navigation has to play a huge role in this race. You're by yourself. You've got to drive and navigate at the same time. Do you think a two-seat car would have been an advantage in that situation? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, never mind then. I take it we'll see you in a single-seat car for some time to come. Any plans to build a new car for next year? Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to need a new one. <laughs> this thing's beat. <laughs> Something tells me you've got an idea in your head how to make a uh, new car go just a little bit faster, and as you've always done, take this sport to the next level. Yeah, that, and if I just slowed down just a little bit, I'd probably be better off, but it sure is fun going fast. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations on your uh, third place finish. I'll let you climb out of the car, regroup, and uh, 
Say hi to friends and family. Who, who won? Who finished first? Well, I'm going to let you get out of the car and congratulate our new 2012 Griffin King of the Hammers, Eric Miller. Right on. <laughs> he was lost with me too this morning. <laughs> well, apparently you guys worked it out because you all three of you guys made it home. Easy Rick Mooningham taking second place and always crowd favorite Shannon Campbell in third. Kick butt, man. Good job. <laughs> No, you worked for it. Good job, man. Well, Shannon, you've been a great king, and I'm sure it's going to be a pleasure to hand it over to Eric Miller at the award ceremony tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right.